So it's time to open the Precision 3260 box. So first impressions of the Precision 3260 machine, and we can tell just from the size of the box, which features a pleasing amount of recyclable cardboard, that it's going to be much smaller than your average tower. Once we've actually opened the box, we can see the machine takes up a tiny fraction of the space with the wired keyboard and mouse and 240 watt power supply actually taking up more space in the box than the machine itself. We'd we'll probably recommend you hide in that power supply somewhere under your desk and you can't really get around the size required for a full-size keyboard in the box. So lastly in the box we have some mini DisplayPort to full-size DisplayPort adapters and don't make that common mistake here, ensure that we're plugging these onto the ports on our graphics card rather than the onboard Intel graphics, otherwise you won't benefit from that professional GPU. Despite its tiny size, this machine does pack a punch. We can see from the casing that we've actually got that hexagonal mesh along the front, aiding airflow into to Intel's latest 12th generation CPUs with a 65 watt power rating up to the i9 with 16 cores in this machine and also to aid airflow to the T1000 professional Nvidia GPU that we have in this system. Both components perfect for core CAD use and all in a system so small that Dell even designed a monitor stand for this to be mounted on the back of, requiring no desk space for this machine. We've seen an increase in the demand for these small form factors with the rise of hybrid working and while there are some compromises with the power rating on a lot of these components to fit into the small form factor, for a lot of core CAD users this may be all the power they'll ever need. It's small, it's portable, it's easy to move between locations and we've even previously rack mounted the older generation 3240 to support our remote training workflows. So on to the crucial bit, which SOLIDWORKS workflows would we recommend for this system? Well, this system is perfect for those using the core CAD products with small to medium data sets. We're talking 2,000, 3,000 components within an assembly. Also, heavily multi-threaded CPU tasks can be run on this system, such as simulation. However, if this is your day-to-day -day focus, we would recommend the Precision 3660 may be better suited for that, simply due to the higher power rated CPU options and more powerful GPU options available to support some more complex data sets and those visualization workflows. All in all, the Precision 3260 machine packs a remarkable amount of power for its size. We've actually seen the CPU in here jump above its 65 watt power rating, which Intel lets manufacturers do when thermal and power conditions are appropriate. Even with its tiny footprint, Dell's research and development efforts mean that this system performs well for sustained periods and is designed to do so day in, day out for years.